Hello everyone, this is HDSKSKI here. I'm going to be casting the StarCraft 1 campaign reported into StarCraft 2. I'll let this uh, talking thing go. Hey, what's up, man? Got your refugees tucked in nice and tight. Provide you can sidestep any more surprises from our Confederate friends and we can keep them away from those critters. They should have an easy time. Priority alert. Backwater station under attack by unknown alien organisms. Distress beacon activated at 0658. Spoiler alert, it's the Zerg. Headquarters on Tarsonis. Stand by for incoming transmission. We've already received the distress beacon from Backwater, and we'll take care of it. You just sit tight. You'll be notified if there's anything we think you need to know. Damn. Listen, if we wait for Confederate reinforcements, that station's dust. I'll head out there now, do what I can. You send in some militia, and we'll save those folks. Trust me. Trust me. All right, so again, this is the StarCraft 1 campaign reported in a StarCraft 2, handmade from the ground up. So we're going to go ahead and get this going on. Time to kick some serious butt. Time to kick some serious butt. So if you guys have not played StarCraft 1 campaign, um, now you can play it in StarCraft 2, which is awesome. The StarCraft 1 campaign is phenomenal, by the way. There's a really awesome story in StarCraft 1, just like there's a really good story in StarCraft 2. And so it's awesome to see that this has been ported over. So this is the first mission. I did skip the tutorial. I feel like I know StarCraft 2 well enough to uh, not need the tutorial, but we'll see. And these units do micro a little bit differently because it is StarCraft 1, or StarCraft 2 rather than StarCraft 1. But they have made everything in StarCraft in this StarCraft game. Um, all the stats are identical, so if you look at, there's fire bats and medics and things like that. So that is something to keep an eye out for as this game progresses forward. I will need, let's see, I need an armory, which, what do they make it look like? They make, no, oh, the academy. Um, they make it look like a silo, but I do need to make that so I can get out the medics, because medics are amazing. Especially in StarCraft 2, man, just the Not medic AI is news. so good. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that Not down. I am live casting this while Not I play it. News. And also, the minerals you're mining are exactly like in StarCraft 1. This is so cool. I am nostalgic so hard right now. I don't even know if you guys can tell how excited I am. But definitely, definitely check this out, guys. I want to thank Anaris, my friend. He's actually the one who showed me this. He is staying on top of StarCraft better than I am in some regards, especially in the custom map field. Anaris uh, does a lot of custom map stuff on his channel. But anyways, I am really excited about this, actually, because I forgot about the whole resources mining. You don't get the same that you do in StarCraft 2. It's in a different doses. So as you can see, it goes up by 8 each time, which is StarCraft 1 style. So, this academy is almost done. Maybe squeeze out one more marine here and get another. I see I'm not fully saturated quite yet just because of the awesome mineral positioning. But again, this is an exact port of the StarCraft 1 campaign, which is so cool. So, so cool. I am super excited. All right, I need my medic. Where's my medic at? Yes, medic. And apparently, you can get all the upgrades. Let's see what there is. There is the shells, which increases the range of the marine attack. That is something from StarCraft 1. Stim pack, of course, and that is fire bats and marines. There are no marauders. Research restoration, this was a spell from StarCraft 1 where your medics could restore a unit. So if it had a disability on it, it would take that away. And optical flare, this would blind your opponent's unit. And then that means it just gave their vision to zero, essentially, which didn't really do anything. And then increases the energy output of medics. That just increases their total energy that they do have and uh, this is pretty cool so he is so fast need to be careful there but medics are so good in starcraft 2 that oh come on rainer get over here get over here and there we go we're gonna clean this up this should be a creek oh no it's a creek colony um i'm wondering if that's actually supposed to be a a uh, oh god what are they called a oh it's been so long uh, a creep yeah just creep colony that is right um, so, let's see, yeah, yeah, all right, give me your base, oh, there's the academy, all right, get some fire bats, get some medics going, get some marines going, and we'll set these to three, set the rally point to Rainer, and yeah, just get some fire bats, oh, lots of fire bats over here, Oh snap, now get in your little bunker you, don't be silly, don't be silly, there we go, got him out of there, get some more of these guys. I do need more, some more supply depots, my poor fire bats are getting annihilated, so let's go ahead and build a supply depot, 
infested Terrans. No, not my fire bats. No, you. No. Keep them alive. Keep them alive. Although I feel like my army is vast. Just making sure to keep macroing this whole time. Killing off some Hydralisks. And this is so cool because this is StarCraft 1 the stats, not StarCraft 2, which is completely different. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind as you're watching these games. So I really want to know, do you guys want to watch me play the StarCraft 1 campaign? I'm actually really excited about it. And I think it'd be a lot of fun. I will, of course, continue to cast StarCraft 2 games. But, you know, I may I may just honestly cast the StarCraft 1 campaign. If you guys haven't seen it, you really ought to. It is amazing. And they have the mechanics where you can actually see up the high ground, which is so cool. And keep some greens going. You gotta stay on top of your macro. Always important in StarCraft. And I should... Oh, why, why is this guy dying? No. What's going on here? No, my bunker's gonna die. No. Keep on keeping on up here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. No. Let the Marine in there. Get in there, Marine. Get in there. I only have one Marine in that bunker, but I think that's enough. Because Marines are OP. There we go. Now we get everyone back here. I managed that perfectly. What did they do to that command center? What did they do to that command center? Burn it, boys. Infested command center. Since they don't have those in StarCraft 2, they had to add those. And so we're going to go ahead and kill off this. And there should be a little cutscene here afterwards, if I remember correctly. Yep, here we go. Receiving incoming transmission. Marshal Reno. By destroying the vital Confederate installation, you and your men have violated standing colonial law. As of right now, you're all under arrest. I suggest you throw down your weapons and come peaceably. Are you out of your mind? If we hadn't burned that damn factory, this entire colony could have been overrun. Maybe if you hadn't taken your sweet time in getting here. No, I asked you nice the first time, boy. I didn't come here to talk with you. Now throw down them weapons. Guess you wouldn't be a confederate if you weren't a complete pain in the ass. All right, so that was the very first mission of StarCraft 1 reported to StarCraft 2. Let me know down below if you want me to continue with these. Here's the awesome score screen from StarCraft 1, very similar. So I'm going to render this and upload it. I will do at least a couple more missions just for fun because I love the StarCraft 1 campaign and I feel like a lot of people out there haven't seen the StarCraft 1 campaign or even the story and it's definitely something you guys want to check out. So I'm going to go ahead and play some more missions because I am already addicted. And uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time. Big thanks to my friend Anaris StarCraft. If you haven't subscribed to him, go do that right now. And there is a link on my homepage. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time.